Yoo -hoo. It's the time for Beckett from China. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at the game box, something I picked up from AliExpress a very long time ago, and I just wanted to check it out here on the channel. So I find it always quite interesting, and I must say, like, I'm addicted to buying these things. Like, there are so many cute devices out there on AliExpress, but the question remains, how good is it when it comes to the functionality? Okay, here we're going to get the K21 Sorry to say, yeah, K21 model, the 620 in one, or it comes with, I'm guessing a lot of nutty games. That's also like the question, sometimes we're going to get nutty games, sometimes we're going to get our homebrew games. Okay, so it comes with an HD screen, yeah, right. Emulators, TV connection, and play together. Okay, so here we're going to get a quick overview of the system, what it can do, and they also have a variation of different colors. Here you can see I ordered myself the red one, we have a black, blue, and the green. And we also have the option to have an extra controller, and it seems to be that I have a brain fart, because I didn't order one with the controller. I must say, like, the controller functionality, the idea behind it is quite interesting, that you can just, so let's say, get yourself a handheld, take it on with you on the game. Wait, what? what the hell? It said, like, there is no control in it, but there is a control in it. Oh, boy. Who has the brain fart now? Okay, but what are we going to get? So we're going to get ourselves the flimsy control, like always. Let's take a close look at that later. We're going to get ourselves a USB cable. This is purely for charging. We cannot add games to these devices. Then we're going to get an AV out cable, old school, for a CRT or an LCD. And here we're going to get the user manual of the Retro FC. And, yep, it's the toilet paper manual that basically explains how everything works. Okay, and here we're going to get ourselves the handheld. And I must say, like, I do like this shape of this handheld. It looks, looks like comfortable, but mostly I like this thing. It's just cool. Like, it looks awesome. And I just want to take a close look at it. By the way, like, this thing feels quite heavy. All right, so let's see what we're going to get with the controller. So because that is always like the question, like they are giving us the option to buy a controller, but in the end, they are most of the time pretty damn awful. It's very tiny, like it's not, I want to say it's super comfortable, but I love the shape of it. And that is what I also like about this handheld, like the shapes, it's like that's the reason I basically picked it up. Fun fact is like when you're looking at this freaking controller, oh, most important thing, hmm, doesn't smell chemical. Then we're going to get the way how they basically made the D-pad every direction feels like differently like there's such a weird thing normally you would say like all the direction presses will be the same but with the left it feels having more of a sturdy feel to it select start a b x y and here we're going to get ourselves the old school usb mini and we need to plug it in there's only one connection over here so what you're going to do is waiting for me like to focus camera focus camera you oh there he is so there we're going to get the option <laughs> <laughs> the option for the input over here is the same for charging, but also for adding the controller. Okay, let's take a close look at the handheld itself. So first of all, I really love the plexi at the front. There is no, let's say, screen protector this time. So I'm guessing this thing already has been used before me. Then we're going to get the D-pad. The D-pad feels very sturdy, like not a very comfortable D-pad. The same with the controller. You do feel like different, like resistant when you're having, like pressing the button. Like the right one over here has like a very, it looks like the membrane is something wrong with it. Reset, select and start. And then we're going to get the A, B, X, Y, but mostly because it's a bit. So we're going to get A, B and the turbo function. Throughout the back, we're going to get the compartment for the battery. It's going to be our Spiel 5C, it is the Nokia battery from back in the days. And you can get some different sizes. This is the 1020 milliamp that will give you a couple of hours of playing fun and what i find quite convenient you can get yourself bigger ones and you can get yourself for a couple of dollars some extra ones if you want to have more play time okay here i've in the av out is only for tv out not for yeah, the headphone or something like that the input for the power supply here i mean the volume control the on and off but the first thing i'm noticing the display hd my ass because this thing doesn't have like a very great brightness Okay, but another thing that we need to do is first, let's charge this bad boy, because that is also like sometimes a problem that you're going to get at one and the battery is almost dead. That also gives you like the problem with the display. So that is something that we're going to do, like get this flimsy, very horrible cable. Let's plug it in, let's charge this bad boy. And no, there is no power supply. You need to get yourself your own five volt power supply. So charging, but the display doesn't get any better. It does reset when you're plugging it in, but that's it. Oh man, that's going to be fun recording. All the reflection. Ooh. Okay, so how about the game list? So the game list is going to be a collection of all kinds of games. It's going to be nutty games, homebrew games, a lot of weird stuff. 
for example this mortal kombat weird game that is absolutely like weird in the maximum level but it is almost on every single nes cologne system or handheld a bit related but what you're going to get here you can see like a lot of weird names and i noticed a lot of double games so they are like being naughty to the maximum level again like being like in the 90s that you're giving like the thousand and one but you're actually going to get like 10 different games so that is the stuff they're always doing they still keep doing it and that's something we think we just need to live with but when you're scrolling let's scroll a little bit faster through the list here you can see like a lot of weird names crystal ball i've seen a couple of them yep there are a lot of double games so that's just a fact i think the first couple of pages will be like say the games they're actually going to get but then we're going to get ourselves the double games and the crappy ones all right so let's take a closer look at this weird game <sighs> I hope you, the camera picks it up. You can see, like, it's very difficult to get any this decent like capture from it. All right, so let's plug this thing out. Let's plug this thing back in, and let's see what happens if we plug in this controller. It goes all ape shit. Oh boy! Every time you need to choose a freaking language. All right, so let's choose a different game and let's see if this two-play function even works because that is going to be sometimes the issue. I don't know what's going on, but what actually is going on that it seems to be not working at all, or... Oh, there it is. Like, there's play too. So the two-play function seems to be working just fine. So let's see what happens when I try to game, play the game. Yeah, so it seems to be working fine. So that's one of these cool options that I really appreciate. Oh, it doesn't reset this time. Does it reset every time you plug it in, or what? No, not at all. Let's plug in the battery again, because here you can see the LED was started to blink over there. See, and it resets when you're putting in the freaking power. So that's what you're going to get with the two-play and... Oh yeah, that isn't not like it's supposed to do. Okay. Alright guys, so let's take a close look at some couple of games, just to see how it all works. And then we're going to try the TV out function. Alright, so let's see what we're going to get with the controls. I must say that like, it's not a super comfortable handheld because of the d-pad positioned. I don't really like it at all. And the left is also very sturdy, like it's a very long press, but it has too much resistance. It's not even comfortable to play. Oh, I just messed it up. So I don't know where this freaking speaker is built in. There is no like whole way you can see it, but it goes very loud. That is one thing to be sure. Okay, so let's see, let's play a little bit of Robocop. Mm -mm -mm. I'm Robocop, yeah, I'm gonna beat you up. Come on, baby. Mm -mm -mm. You've got problem? I punch everything in my way. Personally, I never played this game as a child. But when it comes to the audio emulation, it's pretty damn good. But that display is freaking awful, man. Like, maybe the camera picks it up very well, but... <sighs> All right, so let's see how it is actually going to be working the turbo button. Okay, so the reason I wanted to try this game is like trying to play actually the game. D-pad is very important, but the D-pad is responsive. So despite that it doesn't have like this very amazing press. Oh man, you need to hold it in a certain position because the display is very low quality. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh no, my D-pad, no, the D-pad. Oh, handicap, handicap. No, no, I not. Oh man, I was up. I want to kick him in the face. Oh man, I'm already dead here. But all the sound effects are here, so that is not an issue. I've seen it with a lot of these NES Famicom Pocket, Pocket Clones things that they're all having an issue with the audio. This time, you're mine, bitch. Come here. Come here. Damn it. Ugh. Okay, so when you're looking at this handheld, the option with the TV out is not perfect. You do hear some, let's say, interference with the audio. And the quality is not the best, but hey, for the money you're paying for it, it's not bad at all. So another thing that I personally find a little bit of a bummer is that the cable is quite short. And if you want to use an extra controller, you can also only use it like player two. So that's it. Like you cannot use this thing like a game system, plug in the controller and play as player one. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but I think for the money, we cannot really complain. But when it comes also with the audio quality, I think it's not really bad. Of course, nothing beats the original NES system for back in the day, but... 
seems to be working just fine. And again, like the D-pad is quite responsive, despite the feel of every direction is different. Not bad at all. Ooh, I just found myself a matching screwdriver. <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay, so let's do a quick teardown. And I noticed one of the freaking screws was not tightened up. So it's going to be an easy tie down. Mm -hmm. But in the end, like what you're going to get is not a lot of inside. But when you're looking at the price and you're paying for devices like this, it's like fascinating. Like how can you make it for this money? And yeah, I've looked at like say some familiar handhelds here from local stores. They were selling it like with a lot of homebrew games on it. But when you're looking at those, you're paying almost the same money or something a little bit more than Aliexpress. But the other thing that I personally really love about those is that you're going to get like better quality displays, but mostly you're not going to get audio out or in TV out functions. Quite weird if you ask me. Okay, Wicked, you didn't like remove this freaking Parker at all. All right, there it is. Ah, there we're going to get the speaker itself that we're hearing, but we couldn't see where it is. Ah, so the first thing I'm noticing, like the speaker quality is very good. Like this thing sounds very nice. Ah, here you can see like there is a gap here in the PCB that forces it out at the front. Okay, that's the reason why it sounds also so good. Okay, quite interesting construction if you ask me. So let's remove the final parker over here. And what I always like to do with these things, like rip it apart just to see how it looks in the inside, but you can see like there is almost nothing inside. So that's it, like, the first thing I'm noticing is like, when you're going to see this big gigantic membrane that I've never seen it before like this. Normally we're going to get separate membranes for like select start, but they're just use this cheap flimsy one. Don't know why it feels so horrible sometimes. Let's see what we can find over here. No, they still have the same basically membrane press buttons over here. So there's nothing like of a difference. So that's kind of weird if you ask me. Maybe it's just because they're so bad quality. Here we're going to get the display itself. So if this get broken, you can find a replacement part. If you can find a replacement, you can basically like get yourself a different one. And here we're going to get ourselves the NES on the chip. And of course the black blob, there is still a scrub. Parker, go away. And the black blob over here and the support for the LCD. And that's it, like, that's the only thing that we're going to get in the inside. The PCB is a very unique design, especially made for this handheld. So that's what we're going to get with the Gamebox K21. I must say that when you're looking at this handheld, the shape, the form factor, I personally really love it. The little bit of a bummer is that the display is pretty damn awful. It looks like they put the brightness on like 20%. It's freaking awful. Yeah, the controls, like it's a fun, comfortable controller. But when you're looking at, let's say, the way how it plays, it's not the best. Another thing I have the issue with mine, so you can see like, you're going to get this wide screen all the freaking time. I have no idea what's going on. And yeah, like that's what you're going to get with these really cheap to the cheap handhelds. You're going to get sometimes some issues. I must say like some of the ones I've reviewed were not super bad. But yeah, the audio quality is not also bad because I have noticed like all the sound effects are here so far I can hear. But well, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. Hit the little bell and I will see you in the next video.